So guys, today, in a mixed up position, or mixed up a little bit of a different place, I'm going to be going over my woodsman kind of bushcraft everyday carry. Now, it's been about a year since I went over this, and last time, I really didn't go over this too well, because I pretty much just went over my, uh, my PSK. But today, I'm going to be going over more completely, as a woodsman, basically the completeness, or what all I carry, as far as bushcrafting goes. And without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. Now, let's jump in. Okay, guys, so like I said, today we're going over basically everything that I carry every day as a woodsman or as a bushcrafter. And so, <laughs> let's jump right into this. So starting off, some of the different things I carry are, of course, like my hat, and this is just a booty hat. I also carry things like my glasses, like these Oakley radar logs. And then other things I also carry are the belt. And the belt that I try and mostly use, as you guys can hopefully see here, <laughs> this is the belt. Um, it is actually a Hanks belt, old world harness. Now at first I really liked the click belt, but now I am getting a little bit more accustomed to these leather belts. And I find that this old world harness, it's a very thick harness, or a very thick belt rather, and it holds up everything very well. So now let's jump into the stuff that is on my body, but not necessarily things like my belt or glasses or anything like that. So starting off with most of what's on my belt is, of course, a heavy-duty handgun. Now this one's just a Ruger Blackhawk in 41 Rem Mag, but also sometimes I carry the Glock 21. It kind of depends on whether I'm going out by myself or <clears throat> what exact capacities I need in a defensive firearm. Uh, like I said in other videos, I don't always carry things like rifles, but I do make sure to always carry a some type of defensive handgun, like this one. So, other than that, or getting into the other thing on my belt, is just a solid belt knife. Now this one seems to be a lot of the time, but it is the Bark River Knives Aurora, but it does mix up and sometimes it is the Buck Thug, sometimes it's the Mora Garberg, the Topps Fieldcraft, but generally I save the Topps Fieldcraft and the Mora Garberg for Ashley because she prefers those knives over the Aurora and like the M39, eh, M38 Allegheny. So generally it's the Aurora or some other knife she doesn't like. So that's basically the two primary things I carry on my belt, but of course I also carry the PSK and I have videos detailing just what's in the PSK and overall how this is loaded out and equipped. But that is the PSK and those are the three things that go on my belt. So now basically going over to pockets and neck carry. So for neck carry, I <clears throat> carry a good solid heavy duty neck knife and I like the SC3 and the RAT3 a lot for neck carry out in the woods. But also, as you guys have seen, I also rock the Anza uh, uh, Bumblebee and Infinity, which are great smaller knives. Kind of depends on the capacity I need my knife to be in or what I need from my knife in a particular outing, but, or in the particular outing. But most of the time, but most of the time it'll be something like this SE3. So the other thing I carry on my neck pretty much always, so whether it's in everyday life or just in uh, woods, is the Exotac Nano Striker XL. And this great little ferro rod is an awesome, tiny little ferro rod that works super well. And I really do love this ferro rod. So those are the basic things that go on my neck. I try and keep my neck a little less cluttered nowadays, but I do still like to have things like neck knives because they <clears throat> are really handy for smaller situations. So go over to a few pocket knives. Of course, uh, I'm going to be doing a video here, if I haven't already posted it, about my top uh, pocket knives for the outdoors. So generally, I take my pick of any of my top outdoors uh, 
pocket knives. This one just happens to be the uh, Benjamin bug out. But also the mini grip is a great option. The paramilitary too. Once again, to kind of act as a backup and really a quick tool because what I like about pocket knives, even over belt knives, over neck knives, is sometimes like when you just need to cut a piece of cord or you just need to do something really fast, it's easy to just pull this out of your pocket, open it up, cut something, then throw it back in your pocket and be on your way. So pocket knives are really nice in that capacity. They also can be really nice for carving and doing other different miscellaneous tasks. <clears throat> so of course, my EDC is not complete without another pocket knife, but primarily this is a multi-tool, and so I take my pick, like I said, of different multi-tools, whether it's a Victorinox or whether it's a Leatherman, as I drop my Leatherman, right? But whether it's a Victorinox or Leatherman, this one just happens to be the Leatherman Charge Plus, because this one just happens to be the one that I usually have with me uh, in most situations, so it's probably a charge plus but it can be a victorinox huntsman a victorinox evolution 18 uh, just really i take my pick from a whole bunch of different multi-tools but i try to make sure i have a multi-tool and a pocket knife to complement the different things that i need to run i especially like multi-tools because i have equipment such as firearms and other things that may need to have screws tightened or just overall looked at and that can be re done really easily and really effectively with a multi-tool. So then I have writing instruments, of course. I carry these every day, and I also carry them every day in the woods, whether I'm writing notes down. It's not like a waterproof note, uh, like a <laughs> waterproof notebook, or whether I'm writing a tree or just whatever the task may come up. Uh, I generally always have something like a, uh, what is this, a Fisher Space Pen ink cartridge and a Sharpie for writing in every different environment. So next to that, I also have a fire starting. I have two different fire starting methods, and this one's a little bit more sure. This is, of course, a UST. Hope you guys can see, maybe, I don't know, uh, that going. But it's a UST Tech Fire, but it honestly can be something like my peanut lighter from Meritac, or it can be this Tech Fire, or it can even be a Zippo with a Ranger Band on it. So it kind of just varies, but primarily, I always make sure that I have two different uh, fire starting methods and that the two different fire starting methods are separated from each other so that if one is lost the other isn't and if one goes down the other doesn't. Now I will say I do like the UST uh, lighters like this Tech Fire because they are really waterproof and there's no, nothing to evaporate so these make a really great long term just like sitting in your pocket or sitting in your pack. A battery still does lose its charge but it takes a lot longer so that's kind of what I like about the tech fire, and it's pretty dang, darn effective at starting fires. So then next I have a good heavy duty flashlight. I make sure that I actually have two flashlights on me, one on the actual kit, you guys can hopefully see there. This is actually my, uh, was a Streamlight Pro, or not Pro Tac, sorry, Streamlight Stylus Pro. On the bottom of that is just a backup flashlight, but my main duty flashlight is a Mech Army SPX 10. So that is a heavy duty flashlight. And once again, it goes from everyday carry in just daily settings also to out in the woods and outdoors. So it definitely fluctuates, but that is my, uh, that's my primary flashlight. So the next, uh, lastly, is a Bible. And this is a small just pocket Bible with New Testament and Psalms. And it's a great little Bible to have on you at all times. Once again, this is another piece that you guys will notice here. Quite a few of these everyday carry things also fluctuate over to my daily life, but they work really well and I found really effectively in the outdoor settings. So anyways, guys, that's basically all I have to say about, and that's the basic coverings of all my everyday gear, what I carry on me every single day for bushcrafting, if I'm out there for a long period of time, every single day. I mean, obviously, I'm going to bring a backpack out with me, but the backpack's pretty much going to stay at base camp and be what I'm centering myself around. It's going to have all the equipment, so the longer duty equipment, things like hammocks and stuff like that. Are going to be in the backpack but on my actual body this is basically what you're going to expect to see anyways guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out <laughs>